Yeah, uh, my mother would, would tell about the horses being afraid when a car would come along. And one time, her brother, Tom, had an accident of some kind and he couldn't, he had to get to the doctor. So she had, she was the only one around. She had to drive the car, she had to drive him to the doctor. And I guess oh he told God. her what to do and she did it. I don't oh know how God. old she was, but she'd never driven, you know. The first time, yeah. it was probably like a clutch. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was a clutch. Yeah. I remember using that clutch. And I, one of my early experiences in driving, oh, terrible. <laughs> I was backing out of the garage and I ran over our family cat. Oh no. Yes, it was terrible. Oh. I just, oh, oh that just, would have felt awful. it was terrible. That's how I felt. Just awful. Oh, that would have been awful. Yes. Oh. So anyway. What was the cat's name? Do you even remember? No, it didn't have a name. It was a barn cat. Oh, that's but it was terrible. a nice cat. Oh. Oh, yeah, the barn cat. And I don't know. We, speaking of cars, we always had a dirt road and the cars would whiz by and their dirt would. I mean, the clouds of dust. My mother used to, she'd have her washing out on the line, and oh. and then these cars would go Oh, I'd by. be so mad. <laughs> oh. The dust would be flying, and they oh, would get all terrible. dirty. terrible. Yeah. Oh, she probably would have to start thinking about what time would be the best time to do the laundry. Yeah, I know. You'd have to get it out early in the morning, and then before everybody started going. I usually hung the, the clothes on the line. That was one of my jobs, too. Yeah. Hanging out the clothes on the line. Is that why she put all those big? They put they planted all those trees near the road just to keep the dust from coming towards the uh, house. I don't know. That My grandfather planted those. Oh, he did. He did. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, that would make sense. Yeah. Which grandfather? My dad's. Oh yeah, father. Eloise. He he lived on the farm. Oh, he before, did. Before, before my dad. Oh, so lived then there. okay, so that was. Mm -hmm actually their first they were they raised their kids on that same farm uh maybe some of them i don't know all of that they moved up north then to a different farm okay. yeah you mean that once grandpa was old enough to take it over probably so he so grandpa was on that farm he never really left the farm no so he was always there mm -hmm. from the time he was a little boy. Mm -hmm. And so when he started going dating grandma. I think so. So he. I think so. I don't know exactly about all of that. Hmm. Yeah. But you know, Rachel and I did a, she had to do this. Genealogy. Genealogy yeah. for school. Mm -hmm. So that was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. I found a lot of information from, mm -hmm. from Ivan, mm -hmm. Jean-Pierre. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who would be my second cousin, mm -hmm. and uh, that was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. That these five children came over from France. This is on my dad's side, and uh, three of them stayed behind, and five came over. And when the mother died over in France. Mm -hmm they found letters that had been written to her from, from America mm -hmm. that, that she never opened. Mm. I, I don't know if she was so grief stricken that they had left and missed them so much she didn't want to hear about them or whatever. And she never, so they were in, they, they were letters from America? Yes, from, from her, her, children. her children. And she never opened them. And did she, she probably don't, never wrote back either, did no, she? No, no. And they just kept writing letters. I guess so. They found these letters that had not been opened. And they figured that she was just, well, imagine losing five, five of your children and knowing that you'd probably never, never see, see them again, again, which she didn't ever see she them again. She probably was grief stricken. Uh -huh. I can't imagine. Yeah. So who, do they have the letters now? Do they still have I don't have know. Them Maybe now? they do. Maybe they do. Did they ever open I don't them? know. I don't know that. Well, that's that a good question to ask for, Terry. For Yvonne and Jean-Pierre. Yeah, to mm -hmm. ask Terry. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Huh. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. hmm. Wow. And so, um, you know, you have, a, I know, really fond memories of Justine and Eloise. Mm -hmm. Marilyn and, and I. That. Marilyn would come down and we'd go in and stay with them, Aww. with their grandparents. Aww. And... Uh, <laughs> That was, oh 
my. Yeah, we would, uh, we would go up and visit Aunt Mary Cran mm -hmm. because Aunt Mary Cran was taking care of her father-in-law who had dementia. Oh. And he didn't know what he was doing. And so here we were waiting around the corners, peeking around to see what he was doing next and laughing. It was just awful when I think about it now. We didn't know any better. Mom. We We're didn't. That was kids. our entertainment to go. Oh, and then when every, I believe it was on a Saturday, uh, the Austin, and I can't even remember what the station was, the radio station would come down and interview people in these various towns. And they'd come to Hayfield. And of course, we were in Hayfield staying then with, with Grandma. Mm -hmm. So of course, we went down to see that and maybe interview to see if we could be on the on the radio so we brought our our music that we and we sang together i sang alto and she sang soprano mother dear will pray for me and we and we were on the radio oh <laughs> we God. sang it Do you still and we sang that? how does it go i don't even know mother it. dear will pray for me i'll find it in one of my books yeah yeah, oh, and maybe another one too. Some of those church songs. <laughs> that is so funny. Yes. What was that like? I mean, those old radio stations must have been well, a hoot. They were fun. People would listen, you know, because they'd hear yeah. people, people they knew. Oh, yeah. Maybe we all they had interviews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, isn't that? Fun? That is. Yeah. That is fun. Do you remember like any of the foods that your grandma cooked? Do you remember? Were there any? No, I don't no, remember no anything she cooked. No, no she I remember my grandpa though was such a great gardener, and he had oh. lost a hand oh. in a sawing accident oh. in the woods years ago. Like one of my my grandchildren said, who was a uh, nursing assistant, she said he's lucky to be alive. In mm. those days, you know, Did he could Nanny have bled to death. Yeah. No, uh, Katie told Katie me that. Told you yeah. That. Okay. Because I remember he always wore his shirt. It would be, he'd fold it up, mm -hmm. and there'd be a safety pin. Mm -hmm. He'd pin it up. And then mm -hmm. when he had his picture taken, of course, he always mm -hmm. put it behind him, you know. Mm -hmm. He was a cute old man. He's he really cute. was. Oh, so and he was, he was musical, too. Oh. He would sing in church with the choir. He wouldn't mm -hmm. be back there with the choir. He'd mm -hmm. be sitting in his pew up. But he'd be singing along the songs that they were doing. Oh, fun. And he had a nice voice? Mm -hmm. You remember sure, how beautiful he could, was? Yeah, yeah, he, oh, he could sing. That yeah, music yeah. really was his part of the family, yeah. wasn't it? And yeah. the flower gardening, oh my goodness, he was a gardener with his one hand. He'd come out to our farm and he'd get all the weeds hoed and be planting flowers. And, and he did it with all one with hand? With one hand, yes. Oh, I can still see him with one hand and his tool, the tool in one hand. Wow. <laughs> and so... So it was an accident in the woods. He mm -hmm. was just chopping. That's all I know about it. Really? Yeah. You don't know how he got back? No.